Hey guys, it's Lisa Stephanie. Welcome back to my channel. So in the video today, I'm going to be answering a question I keep getting messages on. And I think it's a very common question. Definitely, I did have this question when I was studying for the pants. So this is going to be in regards to studying for the pants. And if you haven't seen my previous video, which I'm going to add the link below, I was getting a question in regards to what question bank do I recommend. There's so many question banks out there. We have a Rush Review, like Kaplan. We have View World. There's also Smarty Pants and Exam Master. So there's so many question banks out there. So I really like Rush Review and in the video below, it just describes why I do like Rush Review in comparison to all the other ones. But the video today is gonna to be addressing how did I use that question bank to study for the pants and how did it prepare me for the pants. So. Like I said, I really like Rush Review and I made it a mission to go through the entire question bank of Rush Review. So Rush Review has over 2,500, if not like 3,000, if not more questions. And it's a lot of questions over everything. And I really, really liked them because I felt like there were those higher level questions in regards to how your pants is going to be because your pants exam is going to give you those higher level questions where you do need a lot of critical thinking and they are getting away from the buzzwords that you were taught you know during school because of course like when you're treating patients the patients are not going to present with those buzzwords or are not going to present textbook wise so i can see why they're staying away from those buzzwords so i really like that about rosh reviews that they don't really stick to those buzzwords so what I did when I studied for the pants is that I studied for about five to six weeks. The first four weeks, I simply just ensured that I learned, relearned the information that was on the pants. So I printed out a copy of the blueprint and then I studied everything that was on the blueprint. And I did it by week, depending on how big the portion is, like cardiovascular is pretty big, right? It, copy, it covers a lot. You also have musculoskeletal, so on those I spent a little bit more versus things like hematology or oncology, which are a lot smaller, I spent less time. And then of course, whichever subject I was struggling on, I definitely ensured that I spent more time on that. So those were the first four weeks and in the last two weeks, all I did was question banks. I did a lot of questions. I did a lot of questions from Rush Review. I did some from Exam Master. I didn't really like Exam Master because I felt like the questions were too easy that's just my experience and in addition to that the vignettes were really really long and definitely that was something that really frustrated me and really stressed me out and the vignettes on the pants were definitely not that long so I kind of stayed away from exam master i did some your world questions also which i really like because once again these questions are very high level sometimes they're very very hard and I, it made me feel really good whenever I got them correct. And I think that these questions also prepare me for the pants. So those last two weeks, I did a lot of questions. Now, in regards to how I study and how I use those questions is for those last two weeks, I studied about 10 to 12 hours, sometimes eight hours, but usually 10 to 12 average per day. I would do seven days a week. I know it's like hardcore, but it helped me out. I'm always about more studying than under studying. So I did a, lot, did a lot of questions and what I did is that every single time I went through a question and if I got it wrong, for example, if it was on Rush Review or Your World, I would just take a picture of the question, copy, and then paste it into a Word document. And then the next day, so for example, I was starting at 8 a.m. So I'd wake up and be ready by eight. Then how I would start my days, I would start going through the questions that I got incorrect and just reviewing them reviewing, for example, what was the rush review explanation, why this question was correct, and also going back into like pants prep pearls or my other notes that I have in regards to the disease or for example, the diagnostic test or the treatment plan for that condition and why the answer was correct. So I did that for every question every day that I got wrong. And that's what I did for those two weeks. So after that first week, what I did is I took the NCCPA practice exam. They have two, they have a version A and then a version B. I took the version A and then at the end, it gives you a feedback and it tells you what areas are you low in, like higher than average, lower than average. 
and it also tells you what is your chance of passing the pants. I felt like this was very significant and it's very accurate. So if you are definitely in the red portion or in the yellow portion, definitely ensure if you can maybe prolong your pants and try to study a little bit more. That way you can maybe retake it and retake the version B and see where you're at. And so I took that the NCCPA practice pants exam at the end of the first week. And then I had some, of course, areas where I was read in, for example, hematology and oncology, uh, MSK. So what I did is I, I went back, I studied a little bit, and then I added more questions that were solely MSK and hematology and oncology so it can better prepare me. So that's what I did after that first week. And then I still kept doing questions over and over again. So that's how I use those questions for me. It's really important that you understand why you're getting those questions incorrect. And if it was a question that, for example, I took and then I guessed on that I didn't know what the answer was, what I did is I also did the same. I copied that question, explanation, and then I pasted it on a Word document, even on the ones that I was, I guessed, or I was unsure of. Of course, the ones that I got correct, I went through them again. And with Wash, I actually ended up purchasing my own Wash review account. I know I've talked to some other students that have shared Wash review either with their uh, classmates or with their entire program, etc. I really recommend if you can, if you have the money, definitely invest in purchasing your own question banks because that way it lets you see what questions you have incorrect. And also it lets you use questions that have not been used before so you can use your unused questions. Because what I noticed is that when I was going through the questions and some of them that I had already gotten correct, I had gone incorrect and I had already taken it before. If it popped up again, I already knew the answer because I had memorized the answer and that's not what it, you wanna do. You don't wanna memorize the answer. You wanna know why you got that question wrong in case you get a, a similar question on the pants. And that's how it was for me on the pants. I had a question, I had a few questions that the only reason why I got them wrong was because I took the time to go over those questions on Rush Review that were similar to what was tested on the pants that I had gotten wrong. So for example, if I had three questions on tuberculosis, right? And I didn't understand the treatment plan for tuberculosis or the diagnostic plans, so what do you do? What's the next step after PPD is positive, etc. What I would do is I would ensure that I understand tuberculosis in general, the disease, the pathophysiology, the microbiology, right? The diagnostic test, what's positive in a patient that is immunocompromised, what's positive in a healthcare worker. If it is positive, what's the next step? What's the best diagnostic test? And what's the treatment plan for this population? So I made sure I studied all of that. And if it wasn't for me studying, for example, all of that, I would have gotten the question wrong on tuberculosis. So that's why it's really important that you don't only memorize the answer, but you memorize the entire concept of the disease because the pants will give you similar questions, not exactly the same questions. So that's why if you memorize it, you're not gonna do well. Just understand the topics that you're getting wrong. So that's what I did and how I use the questions when I was studying for my pants exam. So I did two weeks. I went through a lot of questions. Sometimes I would study, I said, eight hours, 10 hours, 12 hours. And sometimes I only went through hundred questions that entire time. And the only reason why I went under over over a hundred questions or under a hundred questions or about that range, right? For, for eight, 10, 12 hours is because I ensured that I was just not going through them super quickly, but I also wanted to ensure that I understood why I was getting them wrong or also if I was getting them correct, just to use that as a form as a review. So I always made sure that I, I didn't keep going through the questions, but I also made sure that I took time to review the ones that I got correct through whatever Rosh explanation was and also spent more time on the ones that I wasn't sure of or the ones I got incorrect. So that's why I would go through about maybe 100. By the end, my stamina did increase, so I was going through a lot more questions. And in addition to that, if you can, definitely the last few days, like maybe the three days, what I did is that I would create question banks and they would have, of course, random questions and I would do it for the amount of time that the pants was. So that way it can help me kind of build that stamina of taking the exam because the pants is gonna be, it's a long exam. You have a lot of questions on it, right? 
And so you have to make sure that you prepare yourself and get into that test mode. And so that's what I did those last few days. I know some of my classmates uh, that did take it, some of the reasons that maybe they didn't do well is just because they don't have good test taking skills. And that's definitely one of the things that, you know, you may know the information, but if you don't have good test taking skills, it's very nerve wracking when you're taking the pants because you know how much it's worth, what it, what happens, you know, if you, you don't pass it etc so i know it's very nerve-wracking definitely for me when i was taking it and after even i took it i was freaking out because i was like what if i didn't pass it i'm not going to take it i mean i had i mean it's very nerve-wracking and so if you can ensure that you are kind of building that stamina and just ensuring that you can take an exam for that long period of time those few days before the exam will do well so that's what also i did so hopefully this video is helpful for you guys. As always, if you guys have any questions for me, feel free to comment below or just contact me. And like I said, I really recommend Watch Review. It was by far one of my favorite ones out of all the exam answer question mix that there is for pants. I really like that one. I felt like the questions were very similar and you'll expect those higher level questions. And how I used them is that I went through every question, finished the entire question bank for Watch Review, and the ones that I got incorrect, I created a Word document, pasted it on that Word document. And then the ones I was unsure of, I also pasted it on that Word document. And then the next morning, I would review those questions. That way, I ensured that I knew the information. And not only don't memorize, write the answers, but understand the information and know it just in case you come a question on the pants that was similar to that. And because you understood the information, not because you memorized it, you were able to get the correct the, information correct. All right, guys, thanks for watching my videos and I'll talk to you guys later.